Let me give you my three rules of money management and see whether they comport with yours uh, after you've been doing this for a while. Number one, don't lose what you have. A lot of times my observation is people think that they made a fortune and they can double it or triple it and they're willing to lose everything. They're not willing to, but sometimes they're taking risks that might make them lose everything if they're not careful. So what do you think about the principle of don't lose what you already have? I think don't lose what you already have is, is, is a very, very good way of thinking about it. But it, it would be unfortunate to find yourself where you have stretched so much in your risk return trade-off that you find yourself in a downturn not being able to live the life that you had worked so hard uh, to get to. All right, my second rule of money management is uh, diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. I assume you must believe something like that as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, 100% and we find it all the time and you can see it in today's market environment as a for instance some of these things look very easy to make money in why because there's so much froth in in the markets there's so much liquidity that's pumped in by governments all around the world and so what's seemingly easy may not be and it may not have the 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 same path going forward and so one of the jobs of a very good wealth manager is to always stress test a portfolio and to say I understand that this is what you have, and I understand this one thing has grown so much, but if that one thing were to have a stressed out moment, how will you feel? And is, are we sure we want to be holding on to that large of an outsized position in your portfolio? So my third and final rule uh, would be to uh, have realistic expectations of what your rate of return is that you're seeking. If it's fixed income, be realistic about what you're going to get, or it's equities and so forth. Do you kind of tell people, that there are different asset classes with different rates of return and they should be realistic about what they're going to get or they all think they're going to double their money if they give their money to you? It's such an important question, especially with interest rates where they are today. And you know, the, if, if you use the 10-year treasury as a marker at 1.5%, everything is additive above that. So if you go to a client and you say, yeah, well, I can get you 1% over treasuries, it's not very exciting especially when you turn around and the markets are providing you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent returns on some of these uh, asset classes for a short period of time. But if you look over the past 20 years, the average balanced portfolio has been 6.5 percent return. But 6.5 percent return compounded each and every year for 20 years is a very sizable return. And so if you look over the past year, I mean, many people have had average balance portfolios up 30%. And then, of course, that's what they become accustomed to. And they want to hear from someone that's going to say, I can get you another 30%. But if something sounds too good to be true, that's probably another rule you should maybe okay, add right. to the, if to the rule. If it's too good to be true, it's If not it's true. too good to be true, okay. high likelihood that it is.